What's up Kopi fam? Welcome to the channel. My name is Fareed and in today's video I want to talk to you guys about a long list of updates that have just been released for the Cornucopius project. If you've never heard of Cornucopius before, they're a play to earn, learn to earn, and build to earn metaverse launching on Cardano. Once per week we have both of the Cornucopius CEOs, Rob Gregg and Josh Jones, who give the community updates about the development of the Cornucopius Metaverse in what they call the Kopi Cafe. If you haven't gotten a chance to watch any of the Kopi Cafes, I'm going to be quickly breaking down all of the information that are usually covered in their weekly videos. However, I do recommend that you watch them in their entirety as it's going to give you a much better idea as to what the Cornucopius team is doing when it comes to building during this bear market. Ever since the conclusion of the first ever Cornucopius NFT land sale, which ended in about early June, we've seen the Cornucopius team with their heads down continuing to build during the bear market. Not only are we expecting an additional custom dome NFT land sale, but we're also undergoing alpha testing for the mobile version of their game. In today's video, I want to review all of the latest announcements when it comes to testing of the Cornucopius mobile game. I also want to talk about the first ever Cornucopius stake pool launching on Cardano. And then once we wrap that up, I want to talk about some other announcements when it comes to the custom dome sale, which we should see taking place over the next few weeks. And then once we wrap that up, I want to talk about two Cardano community events that the Cornucopius team plans on attending over the next few months. And then at the very end of this video, I want to wrap up by reviewing some of the latest Kobe leaks. Before we jump into today's content, I do want to give you guys a quick reminder that I have an entire dedicated playlist to the Cornucopius project. And so if this type of content interests you, I'll leave a link to that playlist in the top right hand corner of this video. As I mentioned earlier, over the last few weeks, we started to see the testing of the Cornucopius mobile game begin to take place. We now have an official confirmation from Rob and Josh that the second round of testing for the Cornucopius mobile game is ready to go underway. If you're looking to participate in the Cornucopius mobile game testing, you will have to have an NFT vehicle from the Cornucopius project, and it will have to be of the mythic rarity. Now, if you're not familiar with the Cornucopius NFT vehicles or their rarities, there's going to be three NFT vehicles that have been launched to date. The first is going to be the regular bubble jet. The second is going to be the OG bubble jet, which was available to the OG members within their discord. And the third is the GTI Javelin. When it comes to rarities, there's going to be five NFT vehicle rarities. Starting from the least to the greatest, we're going to have the common rarity, followed by the uncommon, then the rare, then the legendary, and the most rare is going to be the mythic. At the time of shooting this video, the Cornucopius NFT mobile game testing is only available to NFT vehicle holders with the mythic rarity. Right now, the Kopi team is looking to add 50 additional testers with plans to add the remaining mythic NFT vehicle holders in the future. Taking a quick look at jpeg.store at some of the floor prices for the mythic NFT vehicles, we have the traditional bubble jet with a floor price right now of about 4100 ADA. Taking a look at the GTI Javelins, those are currently trading at a floor price of about 7,000 ADA for their Mythics. And then the OG Bubble Jets, which are probably the most rare NFT vehicles right now for the Cornucopius project, we have a floor price for the Mythic at 59,000 ADA. To give you a better perspective of just how rare that particular NFT is, it's the only one available right now for sale in its class inside the entire collection of OG Bubble Jets. When it comes to the release date for the Cornucopius mobile game, Rob and Josh have yet to make an official announcement. With that said, over the last few weeks, we've seen the Cornucopius team continue to leak screenshots of the mobile game. On top of that, Rob confirmed that at this point, some of the influencers who now have access to the mobile game can and are allowed to start sharing content. Next, I want to talk about the first ever Cornucopius stake pool launching on Cardano. In the last Kopi Cafe, Jeff, who is the COO of the Cornucopius project, made a brief interruption to make an official announcement surrounding the first ever Cornucopius stake pool launching on Cardano. Guys, I cannot stress how big of an announcement this is, not only for the Cornucopius project, but for the entire Cardano ecosystem. The new Kopi stake pool will give the Kopi token holders a new way to earn additional Kopi tokens passively while also benefiting the Cornucopius project directly. 
The best part about all of this is because the staking is all taking place on the Cardano blockchain, the Cornucopius tokens that you're going to be staking in their stake pool will never have to leave your wallet. On top of that, unlike some of the ISPOs that we've seen within the Cardano community or initial stake pool offerings, the Cornucopia stake pool will allow for you to keep all of your ADA rewards. If you'd like to stake your Cornucopia tokens, I'll make sure to leave the official link to the Cornucopia stake pool down in the description below. Next, I want to talk about the upcoming NFT land sale for the Cornucopius Custom Domes. The Kopi Custom Domes are going to be large player-owned domes that can be used for different activities within the Cornucopius metaverse. Custom Dome activities can range from PvP or player versus player activities, esports, nightclub experiences, theater and stage experiences, live events, and much more. When it comes to the size of the custom domes, we're going to see them range anywhere from a total of about 9,700 meters all the way to about 94,000 square meters for the epic land plot. I do want to highlight that the official size of the copious custom dome has yet to be released, and that's going to be the largest one available. Josh also confirmed during the Kopi Cafe that the Cornucopius team is actively working on building a video to showcase all of the utilities for the custom domes. In similar fashion to the first NFT land sale that we saw for the Cornucopius project, the team is also aiming to have another NFT to tree mint. If you missed out on the first two NFT to tree mints, these were test mints in order to stress test the Cornucopius custom NFT marketplace. Just like with the first two NFT to tree mints, Rob and Josh confirmed that this third mint will be for a low ADA cost. Again, this is going to be to stress test the custom NFT marketplace and all of the recent enhancements that the Cornucopius team has made. The Cornucopius team should be making an official announcement within their Discord in regards to this third NFT to tree mint. Not only will the Cornucopius team benefit from this test mint, but we're now also starting to see real world trees being planted as a result of the NFT to tree initiative. On top of that, all of the ADA raised by the NFT to tree NFTs, as well as the royalties around the NFTs, will be going back directly to Veritree to continue planting more trees throughout the country. Next, I want to talk about two Cardano community events that the Cornucopius team is going to be attending. The first event is going to be CNFT Con, which will be taking place on October 8th through the 9th in Las Vegas, Nevada at their convention center. CNFT Con is going to give an opportunity to a lot of the new CNFT projects within the Cardano ecosystem to get some exposure. If you'd like to find out more about this upcoming event, I have a full dedicated video to it, and I'll leave a link to that in the top right hand corner of this video. The second Cardano event that the Cornucopius team is going to be attending is going to be the Rare Bloom. Now this will be taking place on October 14th through the 15th in the Gaylord Rockies in Colorado. Again, not only will this be an amazing opportunity to network and meet some of the up and coming projects within the Cardano community, but you're also going to see amazing guest speakers such as BitBoy Crypto and Charles Hoskinson attending the Rare Bloom. Next, I want to quickly highlight some Kopi leaks that we've just received in the latest episode of Kopi Cafe. Now, a lot of these are going to be surrounding the recent release of the testing for the mobile game. And so again, I'm just going to quickly share some of the screenshots that Rob and Josh shared during this Kopi Cafe. Again, a quick reminder to watch the full entire video, which I'll leave a link to down in the description below. One other item that I want to quickly highlight is that the Cornucopius team has confirmed that they will be adding additional utility to Cardano Summit NFT holders within the Cornucopius metaverse. Now they haven't exactly confirmed what that utility is going to look like. However, in the light of this announcement, we've seen the price of the Cardano Summit NFTs jump through the roof. If you haven't gotten a chance to check out these NFTs just yet, I highly recommend that you do so. However, that should not be taken as financial advice. If you've made it this far into the video, I want to thank you for watching. And I also want to share with you guys another initiative that we're going to see coming to Cornucopius. Rob and Josh have officially confirmed that Cornucopius will be launching an ambassador program. With that said, they also announced that Crypto Crow, who's a YouTube influencer, is now the first ever Cornucopius ambassador. It seems like over the past few weeks, the Cornucopius team has been focusing on growing their connections with YouTube influencers, as well as connections with other influencers in the Cardano ecosystem. If you missed it, in the 15th episode of Kopi Cafe, Rob and Josh also confirmed that Dan Gambardello or Crypto Capital Venture would also be having the first ever HQ or headquarters within the Cornucopius metaverse. 
Over the next few weeks, the Cornucopius team will be rolling out more information about how to become a Cornucopius ambassador and exactly what all of the benefits of being an ambassador actually are. As a Cornucopius content creator, I'm extremely excited for this new opportunity and I'm very thankful for all the opportunities that the Cornucopius community has made available within the Cardano ecosystem. That's going to wrap it up for today's lengthy update on the Cornucopius project as they continue to build during the bear market. I hope that you guys were able to find some of the information covered in today's video to be helpful. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you could tap that like button. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And if you have any questions or comments about any of the content covered in today's video, then make sure to leave a comment down below. I'll see you guys in the next video.